What's going on about all years. this COVID Both shit? You're me. not even doing Both the rules. Both of you are going to get an issue off me for common for common law. Oh. You should not be here. You are violating my that's rights. Fine, that's what you want to do. No, that is what I'm going to do because that is what I am going to do right now. Because you have come here and just been banged out of order, wasting police resources, wasting time, and I have told you respectfully. Nicely and calmly. If you two officers right, would please stand that's outside, that's outside. That's Wait, that's please don't interrupt me. If you two officers <laughs> would please stand outside my building, which you do not have a warrant to be entering, I will answer every question that you right. have. And, and I will make sure, right. I will make sure, camera, I will make sure that all of my staff give you their details too. But until you respect my boundaries right. and, and honour your public oath, right. I will not answer a single question. Right. And on the flip side to that, as my colleague said, the council have already been here. Right, and, they couldn't and get, established and that nothing was going on. Right. That's they, not they, what they couldn't, they couldn't get an access. But that is what happened. I've got it on video. But now I've got it on video. Now that we've confirmed that there's obviously your colleague here, there's also five other people here. We're here lawfully because we've been. You're not. We've had a repeat. You're we've not. not. Asda's not lawful. I don't need to because you're saying you've been here, you're here lawfully and that's the end of the sentence because you are not here lawfully. So I don't need to hear the rest of what you perceive because the first thing you're starting with is wrong. You are not here lawfully. If you was to go onto Halliwell Road and go into the phone shop, the, the, the laptop shop, all of that, you're not here. You're here, you're here we're while here. we are live streaming to our members from all over. We're helping people who have obesity, right, diabetes, mental health problems. I know, I know what Jim's that's what we're doing. We're fighting the battle. Do you know on one day that there's a debate in Parliament to get Jim's made a sense? Right, brilliant. Did you know that? Brilliant. Did you know that? On one Did you know that? Yeah. There's a debate in Parliament well, to make sure gyms no. are essential. Well, but that's yet. why my gym is not booming like it should be. Right. What we are doing is operating as online only. My online facility has seven registered staff. Five of them are over there. Brilliant. This is an online training right. facility. Can now, we if you stand outside, people, if people's you people's respect people. my legal boundary and your oath, yes, until you act lawfully, no. That's a fact, guys. Stand there, I'll stand outside with you. You'll get everyone's details. I don't want to have to arrest seven people. Let's, come on, let's, let's go, let's, let's go, let's go and show these videos to the world exactly what happens and your two caller numbers used will be fucked. I'm happy to do that. Right, I am I so did. happy, right, let's go. Listen, let's go, let's go. I will speak to you outside that door as long as that door remains open as it is now. Don't try and tell me what no, I need to do. Not, that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's, that's your opinion, that's fine. I don't need to compromise. There's no compromise with the law. Now you want to compromise with the law. With the law, you can make a compromise of that. If you was legally able to do it, you slam me in cuffs. That's what you would do. I'm never going to arrest you. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you are not. No, you are not. What do you mean am I going to resist the arrest? No, you are not. Stand outside my door. Stand outside my door. When you stand outside my door. I am not withholding anything at all. I am asking using my legal right for these two officers that do not have a warrant to be here to stand outside and I will answer every question what they want. I can't believe you think this. Oh, man. I've just explained though as well. I explained do you think we're in a situation to put risks to ourselves. To my she's a school teacher, my partner. All, 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 all I want to do is establish people's details. So, so if you would just stand outside and do it then. Do you know what I mean? You could have resolved the situation in five minutes. 25 minutes ago. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm saying we'll take details, it's up to somebody else. I'm compromising, you're not standing up. I'm compromising. No. Go on, teach. Go on, teach. School teacher. School teacher, legitimate business, helping millions, donating to charity, and we've got two public servants in here looking to arrest me. NHS 80 grand I donated in March. £80,000 to NHS workers. Do they have the van? You can try and scare us as much as you want. No, it's just in case. I don't care, mate. Put me in the van because you still have no right to come through the building and it's still just wasting police resources and you're still going to make yourselves look completely it's ridiculous. It's hard to hear him in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah speak well, if we that. stood there, this should no, be over. It would be over if we stood there. And now you're on video doing this. I'm going to send this to your sergeant and no, say, and do I've you think told you why I'm care? not moving out of here. Right, but the point is, I'll stand there with you. You, she even just started giving a compromise, but there should be no compromise, and that's my point. You can't compromise. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't go for the compromise. I don't need to, because the point is the law is the law, and I am acting lawfully, and you are not. So if you want to make waste more police time and waste more resources, that's on you. But I'm going to stand by my legal right until I die, because this is my legal right. And if you would respectfully stand there, I would respectfully have a conversation with you. But while you are 
breaching your boundaries, I can't calm down. I cannot say anything other than please leave my building until yeah. you show me a warrant. I can't say anything else. That's and fine. if we stood there, we'd That's have fine. a nice chat. That's fine. The what? It doesn't matter how many of them there is. More police, more resources being wasted. Why are you in the gym? Why am I in the gym? This is my building. I'm not operating. I, you know what I've said to these two? Hopefully you guys can have a little bit of compassion, okay? Can you give me a little bit of space while I speak to these officers, yeah, please? Thank you. Right, so all that I've said is, I've come here and these two were already in my building. Now, the only thing that I can say until they act lawfully and stand outside because they don't have a warrant is, please stand outside my building for me to answer your questions. They are refusing to leave my building. Now, Thanks. I have not been... One second, please, let me address the... Oh, he's touching me. Thanks, you want to contact side? So, all I have asked for is... There has been no prohibition issue given to me from the council to say that this gym should be closed, which means there is no unlawful thing happening here until there's been a prohibition notice. My friend owns a gym. He got issued a prohibition notice on the first, first visit, right? Because he was using the gym and he was, he was being unlawful. The next time they come, he tried to lock the door, they, but they kicked his door off. He got arrested because it was then unlawful. Right. Now, until there's been a prohibition notice, this is not unlawful. And I am saying this is not unlawful anyway because it is registered as an online training business and I will get my papers next why my staff are legally working over here the second this officer respects my legal boundaries and his oath and stands outside there without a warrant oh, and I will stand outside with you and we'll answer everything and I'll get all of my staff to come outside as well but until you respect my legal boundary and leave my building I cannot say anything other than I will not answer your questions until you respect your oath my colleague I'm, I'm not speaking for him but my understanding is dealing with a, what he suspects to be an offense being for coronavirus okay that is statute law Therefore, if he suspects an offence being committed, he's dealing with that. It's not it's actually not a law. Is that actually law? It's not an actual well, law. When you get a degree in law and you've studied it and you can tell me why it's not. How do you, you know I don't me? have a degree in law? It's you not a law. Tell me why it's not a law. Why it's not a law? It. Because it's a guideline. It's not a guideline. It is a guideline. It is a law once a prohibition notice has been issued. It is not a law. But there's statute law in place to deal with coronavirus. Right, but there's also common law. There's and under your oath that you have signed to our Queen, do you genuinely believe, using human compassion, that I am committing a crime and I should be arrested and these resources should be used here? Because you, as legal servants, have the right to honour our Queen, not the government, and to say to, to say, I don't believe we should be in this man's building right now. I think that is unfair. That is your legal duty to do that, to offer Officer, to, to be police officers, to, to protect and to serve. And if you don't believe that that is the right thing to do, you have the power to say, Sergeant, I am not oh, doing that. What I say, it sounds like All I'm saying is, opinion, is not law. Right. I'm not it's time. Can you please stand there and we'll have the discussion? No, not yet, because my supervisor's coming down up here. Okay. He's far more experienced in COVID breaches, regulations, and everything else okay. than probably. Yeah, right. No one's here. more ready, ready for me. No that's one is more ready for this than me. You said you want to speak to him anyway, so I've just he's got more, he's got more to of a, come down and speak he's to you. We've all got time to do place. this. He's got more How information. How long are we on? Is my battery going to 30 minutes. Yeah. I've got it on video. I've got the full video. That's fine. I've got the full video. It's all but on video. He's got more information. I know it is. I know it is. I'm just saying, like you said. My clients that are missing out on their lives. Do you know what I mean? We're supposed to be live streaming now to millions of people. We have children. We have, like, literally, do you know the pictures on the back wall? See all them cards? Thank you cards. We have children that come here that have type 2 diabetes. We're not criticising what you do as a business. We are. We're not. We're not. You're not. Right, right do you know what? You're, you're not listening to me. What we do is amazing. We help people, That's but fantastic. you're not allowing me to speak to you in a nice, normal way because you are acting unlawful and we're you are not. threatening me. You're not here lawfully. You'd be there lawful. They're here lawful. He's been He's threatened. threatened. He's already had his cuffs out on. So we are. Because, because if he doesn't give these details, set him like, I can't arrest him for a breach of COVID. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be... But so is he. So is he. Of course he is. Of course he is. He's got his business. He's been reasonable. Listen, believe it or not, believe it or not, you might not be able to see it, but I do actually use the gym and I'd like my gym to be open as well. Yeah, that's fine. A lot of us use the gym. Yeah, exactly. It's not a gym. Right, okay, you're saying that's fine. My gym show, I don't use the gym for show. We all want to, I want to take my kids swimming, I want to go, you know, I want to do all those things. But the minute the government have put rules in place and regulations and statute law to sort of, for a reason, Reason, COVID is real. But we're not you know breaching I mean? and that, and that's regulations. Why Matt, no. you need to establish no, that you've got no. to understand that. But whilst he's shouting and screaming in our face, the That's like trying to arrest us for a burglary that hasn't even happened. I will happen. get my paperwork and I will explain everything if you just respect my boundaries and stand there. Now, even... I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, that's what but I said what when I first came. Those? That's what I said. That's what I said when I first came. If if I was to step outside, I don't know Tyler. But I've told you that I'm not going to. I've told you that's not going to. So I said, if we shut this door, what what is 
what is the chances of me ever getting back in and getting those people? What's the chances? One hundred percent. I've got, got, got time to his word that he's going to bring everyone. What is my word worth nothing? nothing. I'm going to be able to my word worth nothing. nothing. I'm a business yeah. owner. Why don't you? What do you mean you don't know me? Do a bit of research and check what my business is. Check what we've done this year. We're in the paper for donating eighty thousand pounds to the NHS. I am, I am a, I will do as soon as you respect my boundaries and your oath and stand outside there. If you have a warrant, I, so then all I'm saying, do you know what you've just done? You've called for more resources and more resources when you could have ended this in four minutes. You could have just gone, do you know what, Tyler? I get why you're mad. I understand why you're mad. I understand why you're mad. Too. Really so what we'll do is we'll stand here. Can you please get them? And we'll go, do you know what? Thanks for listening to me and being a normal person. Well, the same as that, that, if you'd have just... So I give you your details, this gentleman details. But then if you are here lawfully, you know what you could then do? Bang, door goes off. Couldn't you? But because you know you're not here lawfully, you can't do that. And that's why you're worried about shutting the door. So you are violating my rights and your oath right now by standing there. Because if I shut that door and locked it, and you wanted their details, if you was legally able to have their details, you could legally take my door off. But you can't. So you know it. So you study it. Arrogance. And, and we, but I will stand off all day. I will go to I will go to a cell. I will do that. I will open a common law dispute against both of you. I will put this on the internet and show that you two have called for more resources and more resources rather than listening to someone and having human compassion and me saying, please stand there and we will end this like we ended it with the last officers within five minutes. Within five minutes. If I was in here and there was pure meathead slamming weights about, or even if there was public, any any member of the public in here, I'd understand it. But there's not. And you have not allowed me to explain myself because you are that you explain on. yourself for 25 minutes. I'm not explaining yeah. nothing. I have not explained nothing because I have to just pull some papers out right now, show you what we do, show you my staff numbers, show you what company we work for. Until you stand there, I will not show you nothing. And that's, I'm just asking you nicely. I am telling you in front of everyone on your cameras that if you stand there, I will cooperate 100%. I'm stood outside, why don't you show me that paperwork? I can't because these two are still violent. Why would you take that? If someone's why willing to cooperate, why, why would it? Why? Why, true, why though? Of course it's true. Oh what is he going to do? Jump out the fucking window? And it will. In circles, it will. You know are being paid by public And if you're going to respect him, then you would do that. Robbed. You would. So I have the time to stand here all day because one of my seven businesses has been shut. Right, so I've got time to be here, but you don't, and you should be ashamed that you are wasting your time here. You two should be ashamed of these two and saying to them, just get outside and let him explain so we can go and do some real criminal work. That's what you should do. It's true. We're human this beings. True. Have some human compassion. And I'm telling you, if you stood... No, your whole entire oath is built around compassion. You have an oath to the Queen. You signed an oath to the Queen, not to the government. You signed... Do you even know what your oath is? I couldn't, I couldn't say it verbatim to you now, could I? Not? Wow. Well, I could. Brilliant. Yeah, I well, fucking could. It is brilliant, and that's why I know you should be stood over there. And you should know as well that if you do not believe that the cause that you have been told to serve is true, the Nazis were told to kill people. No, my boss we're going, we're going off topic. It's not off topic, it's 100% right. It's two in it, it's 100% right. That is 100% right. They were just doing what they were told. But you know what they should have done? That is not right. And you know what happened because of that kind of stuff? King Charles lost his head over this shit, right? I've had to research this so I know exactly where I am when this happens. And I promise you right now, you are committing an offence crossing my line. And you know what the most annoying part is? You don't even understand your own oath. You don't even understand it. You could say to your supervisor, I don't believe that that's lawful and I am not going to take part in that. And that is something that you can do. That is what has happened because of what happened well, I, believe, I believe that it, I am. You believe you should be here. Yeah. No, you might be lawfully here in your mind, but do you believe this is a criminal offence and warrants police time? Because if you don't. I believe it's a breach of COVID, which is why my colleague says that's your offence. So, so but you it's go. not, though. Oh, right, so that, that's you, okay. That, that's your point. Do you guys believe that? As a human compassion, you believe that too? We've, we've turned up, and I'll be honest with you, it looks like you're operating and running like a gym. Are you Regardless being of what you say to My me right gym? Now, I can't even show you pictures and videos because, because this normally has 100 people in here. And upstairs there's a hundred people in here. This looks like we're operating. It's, still got five in it's got my staff, and I can show you that the register does not online business. Right, we have. Yours? I can't until you stand there. Well, there was another two people who were coming up the I stairs. I can't until you here. stand there. I don't know who else is in the building. This it's is why I had the key to hear it. What happened before I was here it doesn't matter, does it? What happens is that I am right here now. Just in gym equipment. We do live streaming. We video stuff. Yeah, but she's not one of these five. How do you? I don't know who even know who that was, but that is probably another one of my staff. We video stuff. Do you know if you want to know that? But I'm trying to explain to you. But you'd rather argue with me than act lawfully and stand there. And if you would just stand there, I would stand there with you. This would be resolved. There'd be no waste in police resources, and everything would be done by now. Do you know what I mean? 
She's got a business upstairs, she sells gym clothes. She came up the stairs with a gentleman who had a key to her and they both stood outside here. And he was it was Jamal, he was ringing the door. And oh, then listen, if you wanted to do a workout at home, do you know what to do? So if you didn't, oh, no, 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 I'm not being patronising. Yes, this is what we're doing. Bits this is what we're doing. doing. Right, bits and pieces, okay. Well, we we have master's level nutritionists and I paid £20,000 for a website, right? So you would sign up to my subscription. What would happen is you would weigh yourself, you would take some pictures, you would upload them to your online account. My master's level nutritionist over here would get in touch with you and tell you what your, ask you what your meal preference is, what do you want to do, how's your mental state, where do you want to go? We then make you a meal plan. We then film exercises for you to do at home and we send it over to you. We are registered as real life online limited my staff are staffed by real life online limited that's it so leave the building right. you are that's it i'll but get I you the people and show you and i will do that but now you know because i have told you that this is lawful so now you know that can you please stand there and every one of them will why 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 us. wouldn't you stand there why wouldn't you do that to show you a registered company go on company's house go on company's house right now check how many staff have got check the names so there, it's all there. Everything's there for you to see. Oh my days, we got some more. We got some more in. Please tell me you have a little bit of superiority over these so I can have a normal conversation with someone. We're all right, we're just... Do you not? Are you just on the same level? Let's just get a gang in. Let's just get the gang of police in. No. See, this? see, this is how intimidating you're you know being. I mean? this we're trying to cooperate. You're being intimidating by bringing right. 10 okay. of you for no reason. I've just proved to you that this is lawful. You might say whatever you've done. Anything you've said a few things. But, you're not but you could have resolved this you're ages enjoying ago this. by standing there. You're just doing this, right? And what's going to happen right. is I'm going to have a leaving right. It's your job, job to listen, resolve listen, situations and you could have done so by standing there. Video, but I, I need to speak to yeah, those people. I'm telling you. I understand that, that is us. So, what are you saying? Is he saying the truth? Matt, and I'm not disputing that at the minute. I, I need to speak to those people across the other side of the room to establish the reason why they're here and how they're feeling. Can you believe that I'm telling you? Because I have just shown you everything. Can you tell him? Because you're a teacher and your word might be better than mine. We're not going to lock the door. Don't know why you seem to think we're going to lock the door. You should respect the public's word. You should. You should. I'm not saying believe. I don't believe but anything that you that say. I'm not lying. I've just shown you an actual video of him stood of him on that camera over there with this background empty, training, doing a live workout. Oh, I'm not showing you on a group. I'm not. Oh, we do it twice a day. Right, that, and twice a day, all day, every day. My, Tomorrow, I'm running the studio for a photo my, shoot. My point right now. The point is, a gym cannot legally operate. We just need to speak to him. So once you get there, I'll do that. I appreciate what you're saying. You don't have. You don't have a warrant. I can't hear you until you respect your oath. I'm not speaking. Well, please don't. I don't want you to speak to me. I want you to respect your oath and stand out there so we can resolve the situation. As a copy, you should be like resolving situations like that. Exactly. You could have done you that. Do you could have done right that now. just by These standing two are there. Just gonna be you could have. Gonna have to leave that is your job to resolve situations happen. like that. No, no, it's, that's not my job you know to resolve mean? situations like that. Of course it is. My, 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 my job is to basically follow what's put in place. Yeah, and resolve it. But you just like not. Which is why I'm here. That's my job. You can easily just stand there. Yeah, but I understand that. Like I said, I don't know. Like they did last week. Like they did last week. I don't know these people. I know you don't. I know you don't. That's why I'm here now. Once I know you are. I could so no way it's never coming back. You can just stand there and do it. You've got a groupie oh. over there. That's not that. You, you, you should. should. But I need to speak to him to confirm. And I'm, but I am confirming with you as my, this is my as business. As we stand here, you could invite those people over here. We could confirm that but and then I, we could leave and we could But I would do that situation. if you stood there, like I said, 26 minutes ago. Please resolve this right now. Can you please tell me your name? My name, no, but my column is 16616. Where? 16616. Right, so Officer 16616 is so adamant on resolving this situation really, really quickly and efficiently, she is point blank refusing to respect her oath and my legal boundaries to stand over that line. I have said from the start of this video, please respect my boundaries and stand there and we will resolve this and I will have my staff come outside in minutes and these are refusing to do so. This is what we're paying for. This is what we're paying for. This is what you are going to be spoke about in Parliament But if I Monday. take your word and I step outside there and you shut that door... Then kick it off, because if you're legally right to be here, then kick the door off. Mm. But you know what? Well, we I wouldn't do right that. Now, I have yeah, by standing there. there. I respect... You can resolve it. I respect everything about what you are meant to be doing. Yeah, but you guys are supposed to be the bigger people. You guys are supposed to be the bigger people than us. We're supposed to be bigger people than you. Why do you bigger, know? because you wear that uniform. So you should be standing there. So I am a huge... 
human beings. Different that you people are made of life and serve. People, different people in this you community. You ain't protecting and serving. You ain't protecting and serving. You ain't protecting and serving. You ain't protecting and serving nothing while you're being here. Because why are you all here? There's crime happening outside. There will be other businesses that shut down, rightly or wrongly, what the government has said, shut down. Yeah? And they'll be saying, well, why does he get to open? Why does he get to open? Look at it. I appreciate that. Online staff at the back, and I will, sh and I will and show you everything want, they need to show you. Is your details his details? The other and when you step outside, that's what that's what that's is your supervisor coming? Somebody else can make Thank that. that. Let's just be quiet until the supervisor comes. Fuck's sake. Eric, can you bring me a drink, please? Started with two of and he's like ten of his outside. Like, for no, what? Well, what, eight then? One, oh, we got another one. What is it, eight? Get his head on there. Get this. One second. Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm here to prevent breach of peace. To prevent breach of the peace? Correct. So should you not be preventing some real crime somewhere? Well, my office is uh, basically my colleague. Can you please just address yourself? Can I get your column number? Yes, sir. You are who? And are why you, are you here? Are you going to film in it? Are you acting under oath right now? What do you mean under oath? Are you working under your legal oath? I am. Do you place. honestly believe that you should be here? Oh, Sergeant. Oh, yes. Thank God for this. Right. Can I please have a little bit of order within my building? Now, there's a whole lot of police going on here, okay? I'm going to be videoing this. Oh. Can you please stand outside there? You don't have a warrant to enter the building. Can you please stand outside there? Or can, can you ask these two and can I have a civil conversation with you? I'll have a civil conversation. Let me just speak to one of my officers here. And not inside my building, though, unless you have a warrant for it. I don't need a warrant. Why don't you need a warrant? Because I'm not here to search. It doesn't matter about searching to enter my premises. This is under leasehold by me and nothing unlawful has happened here. So you, have, you need a warrant to cross that I line. Don't. And I'll debate this with you in a minute, okay? Okay. Yeah. Sergeant here now. Hopefully we'll be able to resolve this in a couple of minutes. I you asked me the guy was... Check all the police that are here. Check all the police that are here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six police. We've got an empty gym and we've got six police within the building. Nate, hey, can you please get that? Just right here. I would rather your officers respect my legal boundaries and their oath and leave the building. Can we please talk here? I'm quite happy for him to film there and him to follow us around. This is legal, right? Can you please stand there and I'll have a conversation with you? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Can you ask your officer to please leave because she doesn't have a warrant to be here? Can you please stand outside here while you have a conversation with the sergeant? Not, not yet, sergeant. She's not going to do that. So. She's not? No. Why? Because I'm finding it difficult to have a normal conversation while my rights are being breached. I don't want her to leave and then you to lock the door. I've not got a No one's going to do that. But if it was lawful for you to gain access, would you it not be able to break my door down then if I was to do that? It is lawful. I understand I that, but would you not be able to break my door down? Would, yeah. So then I'm not going to lock the door. This but is my I'm business. Not, I'm, I'm not, being respectful. I'm not going to Can I introduce myself to you? My name's Tyler Mullins. I own this gym. Right. Ten years ago, I was in jail. Right? I've turned my life around. In March, at the start of lockdown, I donated £80,000 to the NHS and to school teachers to help people. Since the gyms have been closed, we have trained online over 100,000 people. This business is registered as Real Life Health and Fitness Online. The people at the back are my staff who are working on the books by Real Life Online. They are nutritionists and they are personal trainers. What we do is we live stream workouts for our members, for children with diabetes, for people with mental health problems, the gym should have 100 plus members in it, upstairs and downstairs. The people at the back, I have explained to your officers a million times that I will get them all to come outside and give you all their details the second you respect my legal boundaries. Can you show me what they're doing? I can do, as long as they leave my building. I'm, I'm going to leave that lady there. I'm not why, gonna, why, why, don't don't show, why don't you show me around? Pass me your phone, I don't need to show you around. Just show, show me what... No, this is the sergeant, this just, is the guy I just want to see what's going on. If, if you're doing all show, right, I'll show you my cameras, give me that a sec. Right, I've been showing them the, this Facebook right. group. This is our group where we have, we've got right. one of our members of so staff Dan, doing a live cook along. Teaching people how to cook in the kitchen out of the back. Okay, yeah. that was the guy for the clock. Along, right? Then you go down. I've just literally shown you members so of staff. So if this is what's going on, why are we having all this aggro? Exactly. Exactly. Because I've like come and tried to there. explain it and I've just said, oh, can you please step over there and let me explain? And we've had a, I've got it all. We're having a little debate. Let's get it all. That is valid. Come in. Like you said, all them shots and all who are Do you know what I mean? Going as doing it's worse than this. It's not even you know I mean, you've got more chance of actual law.
I've always been good. My name's Tyler. Tyler, I'm Tyler. Do you understand why we're here? One hundred percent, I do. So we're here because we've had a call in saying this gym is still operating. Yeah. All right. While these officers are here, I've spoken to somebody at the council who says they came last week. Yeah, and I'm going to presume it's them that spoke to because they said you were really obstructed with them. When I've got the week. whole thing on video as well, yeah. Were you like this it, with them? It took six minutes though. Would you not let them in on that case? Definitely not without a warrant. But do you not understand that if you've got nothing to hide, why not show them because around? Because I have a legal right. It doesn't matter. I don't know, it does. It doesn't. Come on, oh, let right. me finish. Okay. You yeah, just asked me a question you, and I answered it, you, that's you why I said You have got rights, don't get me wrong, but this, sometimes it's just easier to show you've got nothing to hide. But what's easier isn't what's lawful at all times, and I am a human and I have human rights. You have got human rights. So what I said is, if you are acting under oath, then you have an oath and allegiance to our Queen, not to the government. And now these tyranny bullshit rules that have been put in place right now, if, if you honestly didn't believe that that should be being enforced, and if you believe that we are not causing harm or doing anything unlawful, you have the right to say no, I will not go and check that place and I will not do this. And that's what I'm asking you to do is act under your oath and have human compassion because I don't need to let you in. And I said to these two, right, I've come in and I was a nod to these two, 100% because I'm screaming on the phone to him, shut the door, I'll be there in a minute. They haven't got a warrant and he couldn't shut the door because he obstructed it with his foot. We've got that on the video. When I turned up with the first 10 seconds, what I said was, please stand outside because you don't have a warrant and I'll answer every question you've got. We got into a 47 minute argument, wasting police resources, which I'm gonna post onto my Instagram and tag everyone on it. We've got 100,000 followers on there. Yous will be spoke about in the debate on Monday in Parliament. On Monday, on the 23rd of November, the Parliament have a debate to make gyms essential. 660 signatures are signed that petition right now and gyms will be made essential. I am standing by my legal and lawful right. My staff it's are working legal, legally and we're, lawfully. We're wasting more time. Exactly, so not, please, I'll, I'll get them all to come here. And I, 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 and don't want to, I don't want to debate uh, what's legal and what's lawful. You know, I law, don't, laws are enacted. I've got to go to my second branch in a minute. Laws are enacted <laughs> by, by politicians. And politicians the, are going to be getting uh, in a lot of trouble uh, this week. We are just in the situation where us as people, as you keep pointing out, have to go around investigate it and, ca and so to pull the law. 100%. Now when we get calls saying gyms are still operating when they shouldn't be, and yeah. let's be clear on about this, they shouldn't be as a gym, yeah, we have to investigate. And, that's and right. if we come here and we, we see what we think is a gym operating, that doesn't look like a gym operating. It looks like now. people. It, it looks like know. a lot of people sat down at the moment. But my officers told me the that there was, was, a, there was a, lady, a lady working out. I've explained what we do is we video. So as I explained to your officer before, right? For you, if you was to train at home right now, excuse me, can I please have eye contact with you? I'm talking to you. So, so I'm just looking looking in the corner because obviously I'm not been here and you're not willing to let me in. I don't need rounds. to let you in. I'm just showing you my cameras. I'm just explaining to you. So I explained to my officer since the gyms have been shut. Right, first thing. I donated £80,000 to NHS and to school teachers because we have nurses, we have doctors, we have teachers who come here and they need to train to stay sane to be able to help people within this pandemic, right? So that puts me, as far as I'm concerned, in a good stead in the public line and I'm showing that I am helping the public and helping my community. This gym, when operating, we do free children's classes five times a week, four till 4.30. Use what will come, you don't need to be a member, bring your kids. We'll look after them, we give them a meal. That's what we do. We have free community classes every Friday at six o'clock. If you cannot afford to train, you can come to my gym and we will train you. We, op we operate as a community centre. Since March, we've not been able to do that. So we closed the doors and what we do is we, we had a registered online business since March last year. It never did anything. Since March this year, I attend the gym, you could sign up to my monthly subscription. What happens is you take a picture of yourself, you upload it onto your online account. One of my master's level nutritionists who have a degree in nutrition at the back, get in touch with you. What do you want to eat? What don't you want to eat? What do you do every day? What don't you do every day? What do, um, what's your goal? Then we film with a personal trainer who is qualified, a workout <coughs> with a model, with our girlfriend, with whoever, and we send it to you along with a meal plan. Every single week, you re-upload your picture, you re-upload your weight, you speak to your nutritionist, they give you a new lot of stuff and we give you a new lot of workouts. This company, this, this actual building is registered as Real Life Health and Fitness Online Limited. Those people at the back are staff of Real Life Health and Fitness Online Limited. They are furloughed, but they're being paid eight, they're being paid 100% of their wage. So for the 20% that I make up, I have them in here one day a week or two days a week, depending on how many hours they do between them. There's seven of them on the books. That's how we operate. 
I was going to explain that to those two and show them documents of my company's house <coughs> and everything the second they stepped over this door. But they wouldn't listen to me doing that. They took me to explaining that I help, that I'm a community centre. Everything that I've said to you, they didn't listen. And my words were worth nothing, apparently. So that's why we've been in this standoff for so long. People are to us, don't they? I understand that, but I have a business to run. The girlfriend's a school teacher, we're helping the community. Do a little bit of research or have a bit of human compassion and listen we, to them. Listen, we are listening to you. And I think uh, you, we've both been a bit of a victim of you coming at this the wrong way. I've not come at it the you, wrong you way. Have, he's had his door you've rammed been, in the building. Yeah, I'm someone so, who's been assaulted by police. You've made such a big deal out of It's the biggest being, deal in the world to me. I pay £5,000 a month for this building. <clears throat> I've got time. members that I are all looking to kill themselves. This could have been solved a whole lot easier if you would have just listened. But it's so both ways, don't have to disagree on Check this, okay then, but for me, right, for me, my point is the police should be using these resources elsewhere and the fact is that if they really honoured their oath and well, you wanted to do that, I what you should have done is listen to me. With you. And it would have been done in but six weeks, right, last we week. We are in the position that we are in, where we're in a global pandemic. And, and part, we all have to do our bit, and part of our bit is upholding the legislation that's been put in place around Wrong COVID. Wrongly put in place, that will be well, put changed. I'm not going to agree or disagree but with you. That's not my disagree. Well, no, But you have an oath to the not. Queen, not the government, not to Man Hancock. Before. You should, you, you. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to get into But you as a person, this. do you know your oath? Because he could have told me as well. I follow orders. And you follow orders. And without taking this offence, right, the Nazis follow, followed orders. Yeah. They did. I don't mean that in an offensive way, but look at that in terms of tyranny. We're, they we're, listened we're to their leader. They listened to their leader and they've done what they got told to do. But now, because of that, you signed an oath to our Queen, not to Matt Hancock. And you can say, I don't believe that's right. Matt Hancock, fuck off. You have the right to do that. And that is under your oath signed to our Queen under common law. That is what that is. And that's why I'm saying to you guys, I have some human compassion. And if you genuinely believe that I deserve putting in cuffs and throwing away, then do it. But if you don't, have that human compassion and you're right to your oath to our queen. Anyway, and leave. we're going off topic now. It's so obvi topic. obviously you don't want us in here. So you I had can the, bring them you, all you, you had the council here last week. What was the issue with the council? Someone had reported, obviously someone on the site thinks that we're operating as a gym. Well, I've shown you. Have you thought that maybe it appears like you are? And people aren't ringing us to mix you a bottle. It's that not about that. They see people coming in going. and exactly. out. So we've got 10 people. Right, my PTs are self-employed. Right. They're not entitled to anything. They get no help. So what I've done is I've said two a day. Two a day. I paid them 20 quid for half an hour. So my PTs now earn £40 a day each. £200 a week. I'm giving, I'm keeping these guys alive, right? I'm paying their bills and their mortgage while I have to pay rent for a place that's shut. So yeah, people are going to see people in and out all day. I'm keeping my staff going, we've got the worst time we, off. We, we, we've... I'm fucking foaming at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course I am. Every single bit of this is going on there. Instagram. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, if, if we're having it that we're legitimately, that people have called us and you yeah. accept that, and what, what it looks like. But when I explain, and if I had the opportunity to explain, none of this would have happened. Well, I just think that you've gone from zero to up there. Because my rights are being violated, and for someone who has been assaulted from police in the previous, in previously, right, and turned my life around, and someone who is a beacon in my community, I think that my rights should be respected. And if someone is going to have their foot on this door and tell me they're not leaving, my, I cannot calm down. I am scared and I am threatened. Well, all I know at this point in time is they were lawfully on premises when I arrived, okay? Okay. Uh, Five, one, three. Come back on the second, you'll see us completely full. And under the guidelines of one person by 1.5 square meters, we can have 100 people each floor, which is ridiculous. We limited it to 30 people each floor. We've got a temperature checker, we have hand sanitizers, and we have masks. And everybody that comes in has to use them. So come and see it in, in its full light, and you'll see used to all over Instagram on Monday. Thanks a lot for wasting time. There's no need to be like that. There is, like them too, there is the way they were. Them. There is. All you have to do there is a bit of respect like you. There really is. I'm a business owner, and I respect what he's doing. Listen, there's just no need to be like that. There is, this there is really things. bad times at the minute, right? Yeah, Do you know what's happened to me goes. since March, right? Since March, I pay £5,000 a month for these two floors. The gym bank, um, listen, on my kids' lives, the gym itself, not my online company, is minus £30,000 in an overdraft because the gym has no money to pay the five grand rent. And I'm not paying it from a different business. So this business right now is minus £30,000 because of what's happened. I'm not trying to fund myself. I'm trying to fund my staff and I'm trying to help my people who I swore my life to because my job is my everything to me. These people are everything to me, and all I'm trying to do is help the people, help my other people stay fit, and that's what we're doing. <coughs> the gym will look busy. 
If you go to the third floor, there's a fire door which takes you into the main area and, and my partner has a clothing brand. Yeah. She's got fun, people pick up clothes all day pubs every day. There. There's 15 different pubs upstairs which are separate businesses who use my entrance and the front entrance. It's a busy I'm working place. I'm relatively happy with what you've told me now. It's calmed down it can be about what's going on. I can't here. afford to lose my business. I'm happy. I just think that you've ticked off so much that this could have sort been sorted out. Well, when you watch the video, man. he should have resolved you, it. You're black. I flew off the angle. You, you, you've made an issue out of something that doesn't really need to be an issue. You know, you could have just let yeah, him into Do you know what's the biggest issue is? He's holding his cuffs out. The he holds his cuffs out. This, what is my problem is, and what should have resolved this is, the second I come up as the business owner, I've said, let's stand outside and have this. No, no. And it just went into a stupid childish tip of that. You'll be furious with listen, him. Listen to me. Believe it or not, a lot of the time, sometimes if they say, oh, you come and speak to us outside, look at the door shut on us, they lock the door. Keep the, the door, door open. Yeah, but it's a lot of effort. But it shouldn't be, that shouldn't matter because it's, it's a lot of effort. Right. I'm worried. It's, it's just like, if you just turn up. There's a lot of effort. There's a lot of effort. Do you know what I mean? You'll be furious with him. He's just acted bang out of order, and I promise you that now. And I respect when you watch that video, you will be furious. And if you're not, I'm going to be disappointed because he could have resolved this. And as we both said calmly, and you're going to see it all over, you're going to see it. And I said to him, if you would just stand there, I asked him a million times, I'm saying to the camera, look, please, I'm asking these two police officers to stand outside so we can resolve this and they can use their time efficiently elsewhere. No, no, and it was just a stubborn, childish bullshit thing, and I have the right to stand there, and the time to. As far as I'm concerned, he does not have the right or the time to do that, and that's why I will always stand at this door, and I will never, ever, ever allow anyone to step through my building without a warrant, because I'm standing by my rights, and I believe it is wrong. I can't wait for the gyms to be made essential. My Hancock's going to get arrested, common law is coming back. You, you, you have an oath to our queen. Something that somebody tells me if I ever came here with a warrant, you'd still be a pain in the ass. I wouldn't be able to do anything. If you had a warrant, do you know what I'd do? I'd go, do you think? Because you know what my worst nightmare is? I have three children, and my worst nightmare is ever going back to jail. Ever. Even for one hour to be taken into that cell again. I have 42 convictions on my on my thing. Right? I've not been arrested for over 10 years since having children. That is my worst nightmare. But the point is, while I've got someone stood here bullying me and I know my rights better than any of these, I told them, keep the door locked and you do not let them in. These don't know the legal rights like I do. So I am the person that has to discuss it. I was on the way to Oldham to my second gym, which we're currently building now. And I had to turn back and come here. So I'm saying, Nathan, please shut the door. They have no right to be there. I'll be there in a minute. When I've got here, there's a big debate going on and he's got his foot in the door so i did yeah i'm standing by my rights and i was very very angry that my rights have been violated but that's all that it has been and if you would have just spoke to me respectfully like you that's all and i would have I even said i'll get them all to come over but you just don't have the right to start trespassing and bullying me in my building i suspect from what i heard on the radio that's not entirely how the conversation went down because when i'm speaking to the lady officer that was here on that radio all i could hear was someone shouting in the background i was screaming shut my door and get out exactly all i said while you're you stood here shut my door and get out shut my door and get out until you leave my premises i will not speak to you once you leave my premises i will speak to you that was on repeat and that will always be repeat and if you stood there that would still be on repeat the second you act lawfully in human compassion i can i can be myself but while i am being threatened and violated. Well, I tried I can't. to explain that to the, to the lady so there. I said, obviously, it's she's showing videos. It's intimidating to come into that and. It's intimidating for those to have someone come along and shout at them though, as well. Yeah, they was not intimidated. Yeah, intimidated. I, I've well. shown her, I stood out there and shown her evidence of who, who this was. I've shown her videos and she still. He just wasn't having none listen. of it. It was an and ego she, thing she for him. To on, on, on man to man, it was ego for him and he would not back down. And I said to him, just back down, stand outside there and we will discuss, we'll do this in a minute. And that's why when this goes live, which it is going to be in about three minutes when you leave, that's why when it gets caught and done, I've got 100,000 followers, mate. It's going to bang this video, right? And people will be furious with with your police force that what they have just done the fact of that they have wasted 47 minutes of resources rather than listening to someone who has rights and standing there because he <coughs> his ego just took away his protection you see that all the time i've seen a video of a guy get arrested because he didn't move on quick enough I yeah but no he was a dick though like i'm but not gonna still, i cannot still risk rights. losing my business like, i don't want to risk losing respect from a local community what we do here we are a, we're a community hub the gym don't earn money online i kill it right we earn a lot of money this gym itself, look at all the cards on the back wall. 
That's thank you cards from the mums of children that we help. That's people who have come off the diabetes register. We have nurses and police officers that come here that are messaging me saying if they didn't have our live feature, they wouldn't be able to go on the street and do what they have to do because of their mental state. And this is my life. This means everything to me. This means everything to me. And that's why when I've got someone putting his foot in my building, violating my rights, I can never say anything other than until you stop violating my rights, we have nothing else to say. That is it, you know, legit, that is it. I'm not trying to be a dick and I have a lot of respect for what you guys do. It's just a shame that you won't stand up as well because so many people are now standing up and fighting this cause, which is wrong. Everything should be shut, but the gym should not because in here, under COVID restrictions, we have a temp checker, we have, the, we have everything and it's safe. It's safer than Asda. The statistics show that we contributed 1.7% to the entire infection rate, but schools contributed 45%. And this is why on Monday, gyms will be allowed to reopen. Now, we are standing up, and that is why this has been overturned. And the same as if you guys would stand up and say, that's not right, and we're not going to waste our time enforcing these crap decisions. We're going to go to the phone shop around there when he's sending money to God knows where. Do you well, know I've what seen least... thousands of people outside Bent's garden centre yesterday on a video. <laughs> yeah. Of thousands of people crammed in a car like, park queuing up. Like I don't remember queue. when gardening was essential. Yeah. I don't understand. How That's all opinion, isn't it? But what is a fact of the matter is you have a human right to stand by your oath. And I just, I, what I would love to see people doing is going, all right, I've had another call about the gym. Fuck that. Let's go and find a rapist. Let's go and patrol the street. Because you have the right. That is your oath. And that is, I'm the officer as well, I asked him on camera, he's going to look a twat. I said, do you know your oath? No. On camera, no. But what will I do? And I could recite it to you right now. And he's like, well, good for you. Good for you. Do you need to know your oath? Because that is what you're acting under. You are not under allegiance to Matt Hancock and the government. You're under allegiance to our queen which is for human rights. It's, I could go there all day, mate, honestly. I could go there all day, but this is my entire life, right? This is everything to me. Those people at the back there, I need to keep them paying their mortgages. My PTs who are helping your officers stay fit and active so they can catch real criminals. I need to make sure they still have money and food in their bellies while we're shut. And that is all that we are doing. Right. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you've had your little speech for uh, your Instagram there. Yeah, we had. Yeah. Listen, I think this could have been sorted a whole lot easier. You, you think it could be sorted a whole lot easier, however, in a different way. I just think that there's been a meeting, well, as you might say, a meeting of egos, I'll say something else, but clearly your attitude has affected his attitude and his attitude has affected your attitude. 100%. That would be fair to say. 100% fair to say, but still we're all here to do the rights. job at the end of the day. And if you'd have just said, this is what we're doing, look, I'll show you. All and I did, this. I said, well, yeah, you'll you, see you'd it. You'd be more, more concerned with getting him out of the gym. Tell you what, though, I'm going to close this video now so we can show him this video.